And welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you none other, the people finder, the connector, Courtney Nelson. You guys give it up for Courtney. Thank you. Can, can, you, can you hear them, Courtney? They're, they're I hear them. It's amazing, the, the thunderous applause. I can, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Hey guys, um, again, I just, I'm excited to bring you Courtney Nelson. She is, she's on LinkedIn. She's one of the people that caught my attention because of her consistency and her amazing video. She was doing these roll call Fridays that just caught my attention. She's connecting people and helping people find that right opportunity. And I was like, this, this person's got something, a neat spirit about her. So I wanted to connect with her and bring her to you guys. So before we get started, Courtney, I wanted to give you a chance to introduce yourself a little more. So tell us about you. Yeah, so I am in recruiting, which is where the People Connector comes from. So I'm Courtney Nelson. I'm from a small town in West Virginia here in Dallas, Texas now. Um, a lot of what I do, you know, from a professional standpoint is recruiting, but I'm also going more into HR technology and going to be able to help transform some of our technology to also be able to help talent within our organization, as well as external talent coming into the organization. And from a personal perspective, I'm someone who really likes to to travel with my wife and her family and my family and then I love to get out and do some rock climbing occasionally and I try to do some half marathons occasionally so I like to get out and run. That's awesome half marathons rock climbing and traveling so so cool so hey Courtney I wondered before we get into your three points because I love learning about what inspires people that inspire other people and typically you know I don't want to say typically but more often than not people will say that you know family inspires them and you kind of changed flip that perspective a little bit uh which i which i admire and i was really intrigued by your perspective so before we get into your inspirational points i wanted to bring up and kind of if you can share us a little bit you shared that your wife and your family although they inspire you they're more the supporters um, yeah. And so I was I was really intrigued about how you kind of flipped that script a little bit. So tell us a little bit about how your your wife and your family kind of support you through the things that inspire you. Yeah, of course. So one of the reasons that's kind of my perspective is because when you think about life in general, you really have to, you know, you hear everybody talk about how you have to love yourself first or you have to really put yourself first. Mm -hmm. So you have to really think about what makes you tick as an individual without thinking about those that surround you and love you and support you. Um, so, you know, my my wife's the biggest supporter I have. She's the person that helps me build my confidence. She's like, when I'm like, mm, I don't know if that's for me or if I'm going to be a good fit for that. She, she's the one that comes in and is like, what do you mean you're not going to be a good fit for that? Of course you're going to be a good fit for that. You've done X, Y, Z, go do it. Um, and the fa my family is the same way. Um, they've always been super supportive of me. They've always pushed me. They may not necessarily know what I'm always getting into, but they're always <laughs> like, you can do it. So they're the people that I know that whenever I'm like stuck or not really confident in myself, I can go and brainstorm with and say, hey, here's where I'm struggling and they push me to it. Um, but the other pieces are what inspires me um, to really go in those directions too. So they help me remember my inspiration. Oh, wow, that is so good. And it's so good that you recognize that, you know, your wife and your family are kind of that launching pad. Cause you, you see that target, if you will, and you're like, can I reach that target? Can I get to that target? And, and your family is like pulling that that uh, that bowstring back to launch you so that you can get to that target. And I, I love how you have kind of flipped that perspective a little bit. And that is that is so neat, Courtney. I, I, I really appreciate that. So let's talk about if now that we called them targets or <laughs> your inspiration points. Um, the first one you shared is adventure. What is it about adventure that inspires you? Yeah, so adventure inspires me because adventure gives you new perspectives in life. So every time you travel somewhere different, you're seeing a different culture or you're seeing different people and how they interact with each other. Um, or you're out in the nature and you're getting to see something you don't get to see in everyday life, whether it be at a beach or in a mountain or in the desert or whatever the case may be. So adventure inspires me because it lets me see life in a different light. Wow, I like that. And man, we're just the whole theme of this is different perspective and i really do believe that if you can kind of update or change your filter change your perspective that 
you really do get a lot out of it. And, and traveling, Courtney, what you talk about really is is a great way to uh, to find different perspectives, different ways of thinking, different ways of doing things. And when you get out and about, you know, a lot of us are working from home now. And so it's just our, you know, our four, four walls and roof and floor. So we miss that opportunity to get out there and hear different perspectives and, and that experience. Yeah, Gary, and you could even, you know, if you are someone who can't like travel like outside of where you're at right now, you can always go for a walk and take a new path. That's an adventure um, and let you see some different scenery that you're not seeing, which may be what you need to give you that extra oomph to finish your day or whatever the case may be. So even if it's going through a new path that you've not done in your neighborhood, that can be an adventure to me as well. I love it. And, and everybody needs that just that little extra oomph the way you put yep. it. <laughs> And that is so true because I think a lot of times we get into that un that unconscious routine where we're just doing things, you know, the same way. And to your point, you know, go for a walk. And if you were going to go outside and take a right down the sidewalk, go take a left down the sidewalk and, and take a different path because you never know when you just kind of break that routine. It may you, it may inspire you to do something new, something different, or you may see something you know, from a different angle that may just absolutely change your perspective and your filter um, on, on things. So Courtney, I think just what you shared, just something simple can truly be impactful, and inspire you in, in so many different ways. I absolutely, I agree with you there. Now, Courtney, the, the next one that I love, um, I used to be a fan of this uh, cartoon when I was a kid, um, but you talk about how underdogs inspire you so what does this mean and I, i'm really kind of I'm, I'm grabbing onto this one because i love underdogs as well um but tell us what that means and why does that inspire you yeah so for the underdog it's people who don't necessarily um, or aren't viewed at times to be someone who could be a fit for a role or um, someone may not go talk to you because they have a different um, perception about how your past was or whatever the case may be. So the people that aren't necessarily given the chance and in whatever situation it mm -hmm. may be. I'm a big promoter for those people. So someone may come from a lower income family or someone um, may come from uh, more of a privileged family, but they may have not been as diverse to be able to be in certain settings. And people look at them and they're like, oh, they're not gonna be a fit because of X, Y, Z. I like to be the person, and that inspires me a lot in recruitment. And one of the reasons I love recruitment because you get the chance to influence people to change their perspective on that underdog, that person who um, is not necessarily is probably a great fit and here's why they are because they have the transferable skills where they haven't given the opportunity but they have the passion for it that in the long run is going to be more beneficial than someone who checks all of the boxes because they have the fire in them where the person who checks the boxes is just going to be a consistent steady eddy for you in their experience. And that's why underdogs inspire me because they're the fighters. They're the ones that are going to come in and do it, whatever they need to at all costs to prove themselves. Oh my and gosh. I used to be one so, and I'm you know sometimes I still am even <laughs> the LGBTQ community you can be considered that in a lot of areas so um, you always have to be a fighter and, and typically the underdog is the person that's going to come in with the passion and the fire to to really set the way yeah uh, oh, oh my gosh Courtney you you're speaking my language because <laughs> when you talked about you know we look for people that can check the boxes I think a lot of times, we were so comfortable in inside a checklist or a checkbox because that's what kind of we've been put in this box and so we've got to check the boxes and so in in your world where you're recruiting people you know it's really easy to say okay this is the job description so i have to check these boxes from that job description but here you are kind of describing you know i, I got to get out of that checkbox a little bit because there may be somebody that may not have been given a chance previously, but they've got a transformational thing about them and a, and a fire, as you called it, and you give them a chance. It may not check all the boxes, but there's something that you recognize when connecting with that person. When you And I'm sure you connect on a different level because you have different sets of questions that you ask that 
may be outside that checkbox from the you know the job description but you you know your perspective of seeing things in a new way your you know opportunity to see those things really creates a different way of of i don't know finding that right person it is it is my my i drive my wife crazy because i will be um sitting there and someone says one thing about how they want to change and i'm like all hands on deck i'm like you want to change look let's talk about this what does your resume <laughs> look like how can i help you here's what you need to say um so it's funny because she's always like you i'll take a conversation that should be five minutes and make it an hour long because i get so excited to help <laughs> someone change what they want to do and um, oh. show how their skills can change for them that is so awesome and and i think that's such a neat neat uh, thing that's the fire that you have that's that transformational approach that you have because you are you're looking for the opportunity in the person to match another opportunity that's out there in the world um and i think that's such a gift to have that you have that that empathy and that care for people to help them get to their next level and see things in people that are outside of that checkbox yeah. Um, and, and Courtney, and, and that just, for me, that just kind of explains in a nutshell why you're successful in what you do, because you do see things differently. Uh, and I think that's a valuable conversation you've shared with us. Um, I love that. Now, I do want to get to, you've got another uh, inspirational point that I want to chat about uh, is your past inspires you. So just share with us what that means to you. So my past inspires me because, uh, I, as I mentioned in the beginning of the call, I come from a, a small town in West Virginia. So in West Virginia, you know, that kind of goes into the underdog too. There's not a lot of opportunity in West Virginia. I grew up um, in an area that was a little bit more lower income, more poverty. Uh, a lot of the jobs in that area are going to be more retail driven. It was coal mining at one point. Mm. Um, a lot of people go out of town for different roles to be able to have money to support their family. Wow. So um, my past growing up, you know, my mom, she was a, a single mom, worked really hard and for us and, and my brothers. I have two brothers. Um, so being able to kind of see her wanting to provide us a good life helped me want to overcome any obstacles I had whenever I was younger. So if you would have looked at me 10, 12 years ago, you probably would thought that I'd be uh, McDonald's was my first job and it was my favorite job and, and nothing against McDonald's, but I was, that was going to be my career set. Like that was where I was going to be um, until I really found my passion and, and moved to West Texas um, and with a company that I was working with and um, then came to Dallas and everything from my past, any struggle that I had in my past helped me be who I am today. And I think it also helps me see the perspectives that I do because I also didn't have an education. Um, I, I had a high school diploma, but I didn't go to college. I didn't see the need in it. Um, so I was working my way up and had to really fight to get there without the degree, um, but did and during the pandemic go and get my, my bachelor's degree and now I'm working on my MBA. So I understand the importance now, but um, my past is what helped me get to where I was without the education because I did struggle. Um, we didn't always have the everything that we, needed um so it was it was able to get the fire in me to mm. want to be better yeah I, I i think that's so powerful i i believe and and that goes a lot to show your your fight your fire and you being able to to um inspire others and inspire yourself by living outside the checkbox because you know a lot of people that will hang on to their past and let it anchor them down to where they're at right now and you were able to kind of remove that anchor, but still have it as, you know, I'm grateful for my past and I'm going to use it as a stepping stone to my next level. So you went from McDonald's to, a, a, you know, an opportunity in West Texas to an opportunity in Dallas. And you kept using every experience, everything in your past as a stepping stone to get to the next level. It, and, and I love that. I love you know, talking to people when, when they're able to use past experiences, good or bad, as a stepping stone to the next level. And kudos to you for getting your bachelor's degree during the pandemic. I mean, that's absolutely, and now you're working on your MBA. I yeah. mean, that's inspirational in of itself. Um, it is. Unbelievable. Um, and, and so I really, I do appreciate that, you know, you, I'm, I'm inspired by you just simply because of your 
your kind of flipped perspective and you and you work outside of a checkbox and i think that's what makes you successful and gives you the opportunities to kind of take each step to the next level yeah 100 percent. you got to take the unconscious bias out of it if i you know that's the big thing if i feel like i'm being unconscious bias i'll take myself back and say don't do that courtney here's what you're doing that has nothing to do with this um and go back at it so you really have to train yourself to identify when you are doing that as well um because i've had that throughout my life that kind of goes into my past too being part of the lgbtq plus community um being a, an open lesbian and visibly so based off of how uh, from society standards how i dress um that in a small town in West Virginia was not necessarily viewed very highly and, and still isn't to this day. If I go back home, there's definitely differences than how I am in Dallas. Um, but I never let that stop me. I never stopped being who I am. And I think that that's important. Um, and you have to be able to overcome that and find out how to um, be persuasive in your approach and have, you know, build relationships and, and have that to where people see past just like what you look like and get to know you as a person. That is so powerful. Absolutely. Cause I, yeah, a lot of people just stop at the superficial look and the assumptions of what we see versus who that person is outside that, that look. So yeah. Courtney, we're getting close to the end of our time. You, this has gone by so fast. You've been so <laughs> inspirational. I wanted to give you a chance to share a closing thought before we wrap this up. Yeah, you know, I think the, the big thing is, is just remember that adventure can be anything. It'll help you essentially overcome any boundaries that you are for a new thought perspective. Um, don't overlook the underdogs and always make sure that you're becoming the best version of yourself from your past. That is so good. Courtney, you've, you've blown it out of the water. I love this conversation you. with you. Guys, make sure you go follow Courtney nelson on linkedin she's she's got great content i've been loving go back and take a look at her roll call fridays um, on her linkedin profile just really really great stuff she's connecting people she's she's working outside of the checkbox and that is transformational courtney i love what you're doing and guys thank you so much for joining us courtney thank you for sharing your inspiration and we will see you on the next episode of the super fantastic exchange we'll see you guys